how are you? I'm all right, you know, I'm doing okay. I can see the sun's shining today. The rain has stopped, so that's lifted my spirits. <laughs> oh, perfect. It's a nice crisp day, isn't it, out there? Yes, it is. Um, now, Mel, you recently released your self-titled eighth studio album. Um, going through a, par a pop dance vibe, I mean, I had it on over the weekend and I was living my best life. Um, what inspired you this time round? Well, I'm always inspired on personal experiences, but I think what has helped to make this record sound so positive is I had a wonderful 2019. I was back on stage with the Spice Girls. It gave us this incredible opportunity to realize the impact we've had on a generation. It made us feel very proud of everything we've done. And it also made me feel really reflective. So I just started to think about my work life, you know, my, my personal life. And I just felt like it was time to really accept all these aspects of myself. And that was really lyrically what went into the album. And then stylistically, I've been DJing for a couple of years. Yeah. So just reigniting that passion for dance music. It's so, you know, current in pop music right now. There's 70s influences, 90s influences, house and rave influences. So it was just nice to play with all of those things. And it makes you feel good. That kind of the music really lifts your spirit. Yeah, it was amazing actually because when I was releasing the album, I was due to release the first single back in March and everything went nuts. And I was thinking, what am I doing? Is this even appropriate to be like promoting work at this time? And I was so unsure whether I was doing the right thing. And then actually with hindsight, I'm so glad I did because it has been something to help entertain people, even distract them from everything else going on. Oh, definitely, Lily. I mean, I always need new music and it, it definitely lifted me up. And for me, I would say this album is my perfect workout playlist. It really gets me in the mood, gets me lifting those weights and gets me pumping. What do you like to do when you have the album on? Um, I, you know what? I think you're right. It's a great one for the gym, out on a run. Um, I wanted to make this record. Do you know what? I wanted to make people want to dance. Mm. Obviously... They haven't graced the dance floor yet, sadly. Um, but if everyone can get up and have a good time, but as well, because of the subject matter, I wanted people to be able to sit down, have a listen as well. You know, there's some depth in the lyrics. I kind of explore some things. It's not all up, you know, there are darker moments. There's definitely light and shade. But um, yeah, I just want people to really enjoy it. And you know what else? I want people to feel empowered by listening to it. I feel like it's a journey I've been on for a long time, this voyage of self-discovery, and then realizing that I just need to chill and be me, you know, and that's enough and that's okay. And I think so many of us need to do that. So if I can help people get to that place, then I'll be really happy. Your diehard fans are literally living for the album. And all they probably want to do, like me, is go and see you on stage performing those tracks live. Um, do you think it will happen next year at some point? Well, we are planning to get out there. I've got a European, UK and Europe dates scheduled for the end of April okay. and May. But of course, we, like everyone, are just keeping an eye on things. I felt it was important to plan something. You know, I like having things to look mm. forward to. We know we have to adapt. It's been a year of adapting, hasn't it? So we are just, you know, like I say, being really careful, taking all the advice we can. And if things need to move and change, then we're going to do that as quick as we can so people don't get messed around. You are a super stylish pop mum. Over the years, you've experimented with fashion. How would you um, describe your current style right now? Well, I think after being back with the girls last year and being Sporty Spice again, I have completely embraced sportswear. It's having such a moment in fashion and it has been mm. for a few years. So I love it because you can, you know, you can really dress down, but still feel like you are cool. And then if you want to dress up, you can still have like some really high end fashion sporty influences in there. So there's, there's always going to be a, an element of sporty when it comes to what I wear. Looking back at those Spice days, do you have a favourite freebie that you ever got given, if you remember anything? Oh gosh, that's you a good question. You must have got question. given so many cool things. So many cool things. i tell you what was really cool actually, back in the day, I used to, um, David used to give me quite a lot of stuff from like when he was playing with England. So I had loads of England shirts and like training stuff and things you couldn't get in the shops. So that, that was quite special. That is so cool. And also, what was your, or what is your favourite 
piece of spice memorabilia? Do you have anything at home that you still keep on the mantelpiece or around? Do you know what? I think that we have such incredible awards. You know, the Brits have always been super special nights for us at all of our Brit awards. And Ivan Novello's, which is the, the publishing, the writing award, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's always an honour to receive those. So we have a couple of those. So they have pride of place. Amazing. And what are your plans for the rest of this year, Mel? What's going down in your household? Um, wow. Well, like everyone, just waiting to see what happens. All of my family are up in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. So obviously things have got really difficult back up there again. So kind of looking forward to Christmas, releasing more music, just, you know, really enjoying this album and, and people enjoying it. So yeah, we will have to wait and see. I hope that I can get out and perform to people in a live capacity soon.